your body makes a hormone called GLP-1. This hormone tells your brain to feel full when you're eating. The medication, semaglutide, acts like this hormone. Therefore, when you're taking this medication, you will feel fuller faster and stay full longer. You'll likely eat smaller meals, have fewer cravings, and snack less. The hormone GLP-1 also works on the stomach to delay gastric emptying. Gastric emptying is the time it takes for the foods you eat to move from your stomach to intestine. When taking this medication, foods will sit in your stomach longer than usual. This will also contribute to a feeling of fullness. While on this medication, it's important to plan on eating smaller meals and to eat slower so that you don't eat too much. The amount of weight you may lose is unique to you and your body. Studies show that the average amount of weight loss is about 15% of one's body weight. This means that for a person who weighs 300 pounds, we would expect them to lose about 45 pounds. For a person who weighs 250 pounds, we would expect them to lose about 37 pounds. It will take about a year to see the highest amount of weight you can expect to lose. This is an average, so some people may lose more weight and some people may lose less weight. This medication is taken one time each week. This means if you take your medication on Sunday, you won't take your next dose until the following Sunday. Your dose of medication is the amount of medication you take. There are five different doses of this medication. Each dose is given for four weeks before stepping up to the next dose. The goal is to get to the 2.4 milligram long-term dose. If you are having side effects, the dosing schedule can be extended. You will start with a 0.25 milligram dose once weekly for four weeks, then 0.5 milligram once weekly for four weeks, then one milligram once weekly for four weeks, then 1.7 milligrams once weekly for four weeks, then 2.4 milligrams once weekly. The 2.4 milligram dose is the maintenance dose. The 1.7 milligram dose can also be a maintenance dose if needed. The most common side effects are gastrointestinal, meaning they affect your stomach. Nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, constipation, indigestion. If you experience these side effects, reach out to your weight management provider. There may be ways to help minimize or prevent these side effects. People who track their progress lose more weight than those who don't. Keep in mind that on average, you may lose one to two pounds each week. The best time to weigh yourself at home is first thing in the morning, after you've peed, and without wearing clothes. Keep a weight journal and share results with your weight management provider. Reach out to your weight management team if you miss any doses. Depending on how long you have been off the medication, the dose you restart at may be lower. This medication is not considered safe during pregnancy or breastfeeding. For patients who can become pregnant, use contraception, birth control, and stop using the medication if you become pregnant. Let's review how to use the Wigovi pen. Wigovi is a once a week injection that can be taken with or without food. You want to keep the injection in the refrigerator in its original carton. If you are traveling or need to remove the medication from the refrigerator, it can be kept at room temperature for 28 days. So to start your injection, you want to make sure your hands are washed and clean. Have with you either an alcohol swab or soap and water to clean the area that you are going to inject. For areas to inject, you can either do your upper thigh, your abdominal area at least two inches away from your belly button, or if you have someone helping you with the injection, you can do your upper arm. To prepare your injection, take your Wigovi out of the fridge and let it sit for 30 minutes so it can come to room temperature. Then you're going to remove this gray cap on the top of the injection. Once you remove that cap, you will see a plastic that is covering the needle, so you will never see the needle on the Wigovi injection. Then once you have your site that you're going to inject, you'll either take your alcohol swab or um, once the area is clean, inject your medication at a 90 degree angle. You wanna hold the medication down and you'll hear two clicks. The first click means that the medication is going 
and then you'll see a yellow bar start to come down. Once you hear the second click on your pen, hold the pen against your skin for five seconds to ensure that your full dose has been completed, and then you can remove the pen. If you notice a little bit of excess medication drips from the injection site, please contact your weight management provider so we can ensure that you received your full dose. After you finish your dose, you will have to dispose of your pen. Remember, this is a single-use pen, so you will put the entire pen into either a sharps container, or if you don't have a sharps container, you can also use a household item, such as a laundry detergent bottle or something with very thick plastic. If you are using a household item, please contact your state to identify the regulations for safe disposal of your pens. <music>